Very recently, I downloaded and installed Apple's new operating system, OS X Lion. I've greatly enjoyed using iOS products, namely because it is a real pleasure to use them. It's actually fun to go on the internet. It's fun to move between apps. It's a very intuitive process. And so to see that come to a laptop was a very interesting prospect. I was definitely expecting it to be entertaining to use, but I wasn't too certain or convinced that it would actually become a functional, useful part of my day-to-day -day workflow. And in this very short period of using it, I have really come to notice that it will indeed sort of mesh with my day-to-day -day tasks. Sort of the, the core implementation of iOS that I find very, very useful is full screen applications. Now, this is obviously just like an iPad or an iPhone. You have one screen, one app. And I'd have to say I was skeptical that this would work out well because I'm very used to the idea of having multiple windows open and being able to very easily just click between them. But the way that Apple has handled this is very, very nice. You have three fingers on a trackpad and you just swipe across to move between apps. And I guess this feature in itself is kind of like a simple one. It's not really all that complicated, but it's, it's nice. But where it gets very exciting is its connection to mission control and in particular spaces. Apple has been developing very nice ways of organizing open applications. We've seen things like Exposé, where you have all the windows at one space visible, and you can very easily just move between them. And it's been a wonderful, wonderful thing. And when Spaces came out, I was very excited about this, because to have a whole fresh desktop to sort of assign applications to and to be able to switch between was something I'd seen in other platforms but was very eager to see how Apple would use. And for the first, I don't know, maybe few months, I, I definitely got great use out of it, but I kind of stopped using it altogether, and this is mostly due to how aggravating it was to switch between spaces. You'd have to usually go up to the taskbar and click on a spaces shortcut, or you'd have to create these elaborate keyboard shortcuts that while maybe initially useful, would then start to sort of interfere with other things I have sort of macroed to my keys. So I was very excited when I saw Spaces sort of make a real return, a real comeback to the platform. And this comes up in Mission Control. So let's go into Mission Control, and it's just sort of three fingers swiping upward on the trackpad. And you can see here we have sort of our active applications and active desktop. And then up at the top, we have our full screen apps. Now, if I move the mouse over to the side, you'll see this little plus sign and an image of my desktop background show up. And what this is in fact is, is a way to create new spaces. So we'll just give that a click. And you have your new desktop here, fresh empty desktop. And it's nice to be able to sort of move between all these active things in Mission Control. But where it gets really, really nice is how you can very easily just click and drag applications to these new desktops. And so now if I go into this, what I'll call Lightroom desktop, I can actually put Lightroom into its full screen mode. It's been with Lightroom for some time now. However, now it actually is very useful because I'm able to just very easily swipe between all these open programs that are in full screen and the desktop. This is again just three fingers swiping across. And so using Lightroom in full screen is actually quite a pleasure now. It doesn't obstruct views. It's in a space which has been available for some time now but again just the ability to swipe between these spaces so easily is just a wonderful feature and I'd say one of the ultimate 
examples of the hybridity between iOS multi-touch features, full screen apps, and the OSX platform. Thank you for watching.